Today we are back with a landscaping series. We will be doing some lawn care. We'll be heading over to the shop in our 2017 Ford F-250. Today we will be mowing our commercial and residential lawn. We will be using the 1997 OBS Ford along with the John Deere stand-on mower and the Walker mower. I'm excited to be back here with the landscaping series doing some lawn care. Mowing lately has been picking up with the recent rains. Coming up here in a month, month and a half, we will have to start our fall leaf cleanups where we clean all of the properties up with all of the leaves from the trees. So far this 2017 Ford F-250 has been an awesome truck for us. Lately we've been putting it to work towing goosenecks and different trailers uh, with the company and overall I really do like the performance of the 6.7 liter diesel. We'll get loaded up here and we'll head on out. The first one for today is the gas station. It's a pretty small uh, lawn area for us, but it definitely does get the name out because gas stations are pretty busy. Let's get the OBS4 warmed up here. Really do like this truck quite a lot. This will stay around with the series for a very long time. I really do like the body style here on it, the configuration, everything about this truck looks just so, so cool. So we got the power stroke warming up. We'll come on the inside and get to the Walker and the John Deere warmed up. Both these mowers do have a little bit of a longer start, but that's okay. The John Deere, we will not have a bagger on, just side discharging, but uh, we'll be bagging the walker, giving some nice stripes to the residential lawn. Now I do a manual attaching here in my game. Many of you guys have been asking me to get it, and it has been causing a few problems with my game, uh, crashing it every now and then. So hopefully I can get a new version of it and not have that problem. We're going to attach here. I'm not sure if this truck uh, kind of works there with the cables. I don't think it does. We'll take the 24 foot trailer. I really do like this just because of how wide it is. And we don't have to worry about the mowers uh, kind of hitting the uh, wheel wells. The landscaping series is very popular here on the channel, which is pretty exciting. I really do like landscaping, all the different jobs we do to uh, the lawn care side of the series. I hope everyone's having a great day today. Let me know how it is down below. My day's been a bit busy so far, but it's been pretty good. Now the temperature lately has been uh, coming to kind of a fall weather which is awesome. Maybe a few days uh, sweatshirt weather but I really do like uh, kind of the fall season. Especially with all the leaf change and the leaves falling on the trees it just looks so beautiful. Now the way I loaded up the truck and trailer is to use the John Deere first. That way we don't have to back one off to get to the other at the first one. I think that saves us quite a bit of time. Even though this is an old 1997 Ford, it definitely gets the job done. It's a workhorse here, and we'll be keeping you around on the series and putting it to work uh, this winter snow plowing. One thing I've been trying to do over the last few months is to use new and older trucks. Now, I do want to buy a Ram here for this series. I've been getting quite a lot of requests for it as well, so I think that would be a pretty cool upgrade here. Get a Ram, since I do use quite a lot of Chevys and Fords. I would like to thank all of you guys for the continued support here on the daily videos. You guys have been awesome and I really do appreciate it. It's a lot of fun to upload every single day and you guys are the ones that are making it possible. So I think we'll just kind of park off here to the side and get mowing. While the John Deere does get warmed up, let's take a quick look at what we have to mow. It's just kind of this main area out front here, a little bit on that side and a little bit to the right of the building.
Now I think a cool feature for this would be to have a shoot blocker that folds down as well. That way we don't kind of shoot it into the street and uh, we do not want that to happen. I think the stand-on is perfect for these situations. It is a little hilly, and I really do like the uh, stand-ons. I've actually used a few stand-ons before, and they're pretty awesome. Hydraulic or even bell-driven. Now, I think it would be pretty cool to put a sulky here on the back of this, and I do prefer the uh, hydraulic uh, for the sulkies. They just have the extra power needed. Now I've been featuring lawn care here on the channel for quite a long time and really have been enjoying it. Uh, for 2019, uh, we combined the landscaping and the lawn care to one shop and I think that was definitely a great thing to do. A few days a week we set aside for the mowing side of the business while all the other days are doing big landscaping projects and I really do like that. If you guys have not already, I do ask that you subscribe to the channel and also go check me out on Instagram. I do post every single day some pretty cool pictures and I do have some new plans for Instagram as well, which should be pretty exciting. Awesome, so we got this side mode. We'll do this a little bit here. It's a bit hilly, and one big bonus to a stand on, if you don't really feel safe, you could let go and walk away instead of having to kind of jump off the rider. Now we do not have to worry about scalping here, it's just a gas station, it just needs to be mowed and kind of cut down. I hope everyone has had a great start to the school year so far. Mine's been awesome so far, really do like my classes, uh, really do like my teachers and also the classmates. Now this fall will be pretty epic here for the channel, some pretty cool things, and I do have some new uh, cool mod ideas here in the works that I think would be pretty cool. Now it's actually only one pass over here, not too much on this side, which is great. As you guys can see, the grass is a bit patchy, but it's just going to look good, but it doesn't have to look the best, and that's pretty much it. We'll head on over now to the residential dry, uh, lawn here for today. And one thing I will have to say about lawn care is you want all of your properties that you mow so close to each other. It just makes it a lot more efficient for you and you don't have to drive around town to mow one or two uh, all day long. Now it's going to get pulled off to the side. Now I think it's going to be best for us to park in the driveway. This is a pretty busy road here. Usually our customers do not mind, and that's uh, very nice of them. Now, if there was cars in the driveway, uh, we would just kind of park in the street. We'll use a walker here, and the walker is known for great stripes and great uh, collection of the grass with a built-in bagger. Now, these mowers do have a pretty long startup. Hopefully, I could kind of look into kind of lowering that just a little bit. That long start though is realistic and I do like it at times when you just want to hop on the mower really quickly and go, it takes a little bit more time. Now for the lawn care series and for the landscaping series, I really do want to find ways to make it more realistic. I will be looking into a weed eater along with uh, a few different things, maybe a leaf blower. I think th that would be awesome uh, to kind of go around, edge the uh, driveway, the street, uh, coming to the uh, lawn, and then kind of weed eat around the trees and different things like that. So I'm trying to find ways uh, to make it realistic. That would be awesome.
These walker mowers are pretty popular for fall leaf cleanups and I really do like the low profile deck 52 inch. It's just very big and very efficient for mowing. Now I do want to open up the landscaping series to multiplayer. I think that that would be a pretty sweet thing to do. Have you guys come in game, help out, or possibly even make a multiplayer landscaping service. Let me know if we should do a, a few things like that, either or. And I am also looking into bringing back farming series as well. Over these last few days, I have been feeling a little bit under the weather, so I do apologize for that, but I really do enjoy uh, hopping on here, making videos for you guys, and uh, being able to interact with you down below. So drop anything, and I will uh, definitely respond. Now I do also want to find ways to make it more realistic when using this walker mower, uh, being able to empty it out, different things like that, having barrels with us, uh, trash can split uh, the grass in. Now I definitely want to do things like that instead of just uh, not uh, kind of doing that because it is realistic to empty the uh, hopper uh, two, three times per lawn, especially lawns of this size. This OBS board looks so, so cool. I really do like the body style, and I just cannot wait uh, to see how it does this winter plowing. Now, I have done a few plowing videos recently here on the channel. Many of you guys have been really liking it, which is pretty awesome. And stay tuned for this winter. We will have brand new plow uh, setups, which will be awesome. Smash the like button if you guys would like to see more uh, landscaping here and lawn care. I definitely want to feature more and more lawn care. During the summer months, uh, the mowing does slow down, so I kind of try to be realistic there and slow down as well. Uh, but with the fall approaching, with the big uh, fall leaf cleanups, big money makers for the landscaping company will be very busy. And I think I might do a few throwbacks to FS17 landscaping since we do have the backhoe and a few other trucks and equipment that are really awesome. Well that's pretty much it here for today's lawn care video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. We got to mow the gas station along with this pretty big residential house. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for next one and subscribe for more.